Well, Fishers, we've got some good reports for you for this week. So where are the hot spots? Where are we heading for the weekend? Seem we've got a long weekend coming up, Anzac Day, and two week two days on the weekend. We should have a great run. Um, we're getting some good reports out of the Hume Weir still. Uh, the boys down there tell me that we're getting some really good uh, catches of redfin. A lot of small stuff, but some big ones. Now, we keep saying this, but that is the fact. That's exactly what's happening down there. Uh, trolling around, we'll find a few. Uh, watch your sounder very closely. Once you find them, jack blades, green grunter squidgies in the 65mm in particular are doing extremely well down there and uh, once you get right onto a good patch of them the old ice jig will do the job quite nicely. Mawala, that's another hot spot at the moment, we're getting some very consistent reports out of there. Not everyone is catching fish down there at the moment but the ones who fish it on a regular basis are doing extremely well, getting some good sized cod out of it, casting or trolling, spinner baits, hard bodies, doesn't seem to matter a great deal. To be honest with you, I don't hear much about the bait fishermen down there. Obviously, they do do a bit of bait fishing down there, but I haven't heard too much. That's mainly either the lure fishermen I get the reports from from that area. Murrumbidgee River, look, you're blessed. It is absolutely fantastic. Conditions are perfect in the river at the moment. Planner reserve access. Uh, you get your boats in without too much trouble at all. Yes, it is low, but it's fishing incredibly well. Flick a few surface lures around, cast some spinner baits, drown a bait if that's what you want to do, and you will get some great results. Old Man Creek's not too bad. Not a lot of water in the creek, but it's still pretty good fishing, I can assure you. The surface lure boys have been giving it a caning, and they are catching some great fish and ha having a real good time down down there. That last hour or so before dark and then for about 20 minutes an hour into dark, it's worth the effort I can assure you. Tumut River still low, another hot spot, certainly worth the effort, depending on the amount of people up there, so I'd go and give that a hit if I was you. Um, you can be in River, Threadbow River, all starting to produce spawn run trout, uh, getting some good ones, and also the river up above Sioux City, which is the Tumut River as well. It's the top end of the Tumut River, some pretty good results there. So as you can see, we've got some pretty hot results around. Wangla Dam isn't fishing too bad at the moment. We're getting some good fish out of there, a few yellows, a few cod, uh, isn't too bad on the trout. Uh, even heard of another redfin there the other day and you hardly ever get redfin out of Wyangla so it's a bit of a concern, we didn't want to see them there but uh, there is a few fish getting caught off the bank with bait isn't too bad either Barranjuk Dam, getting some good reports out of there, uh, especially on small yabbies and shrimp. Shrimp seem to be the best bait, and from all reports, there's a lot of shrimp in the dam at the moment, so bobbing around the timber in about 30 to 40 feet of water right beside the dead timber should do well. Not every tree has fish, so you're going to have to move around a little bit to find them. Uh, the south coast, plenty of activity down there, so as you can see, we've got quite a, quite a good uh, report happening, and if you get into it for the weekend, you're going to get some good results. This is the Complete English Fish Report for this week. Catch you next week.